Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today I'll be doing a short review of how a realist hero rebuilt the kingdom. This anime opens up with Kazuya reminiscing about what his grandfather said to him before he passed away. Kazuya now finds himself all alone and out of nowhere he is summoned to the elf ridden kingdom in another world as a hero. In this world there is an ongoing war with the demon army. Kazuya soon finds out that he was summoned to this world to be given to the empire as part of the elf ridden kingdom's contribution to the war. Kazuya convinces the king to keep the hero for his own kingdom and after three days of discussing the reforms to help the kingdom thrive, Kazuya is abruptly made the king of the elf ridden kingdom by the present king. The first episode of this anime is really good. The plot is very interesting and it's quite funny seeing the hero being summoned to find out that he will be given away as a tribute to the empire and then he's made the king three days later. In episode 2, the new king decides to recruit apt individuals to help him rebuild the kingdom. He does this by sending out a message to the entire kingdom and gives a rousing speech to attract his new help. The start of this episode is a little slow, but once you get to the rousing speech, the plot has moved in the right direction. The main character for this anime is not your usual type of protagonist for an isekai anime. He is not OP with new abilities granted to him by the new world he finds himself in, but instead makes use of the knowledge of his old world to help his new kingdom. The side characters for this anime are all very interesting. They provide good interaction with the main character to help progress the story. I would have liked to have seen more of some of the side characters, but maybe they're saving that for part 2 of the anime. There is not a lot of combat in this anime. It mainly focuses on Kazuya finding new friends and family to help him rebuild and revitalize the elf ridden kingdom. Although towards the end of the season, a civil war does take place with minimal combat scenes. In conclusion, this is an anime I would recommend to others to watch. It's a little slow paced at times, but it does a good job of making you want to watch the next episode. I do feel that the anime could elaborate a little more on what happens to the characters after the civil war is resolved. Although there is not a lot of combat, this anime makes up for it with interesting characters, a good plot and a good story development. I think this anime is a 7 out of 10. If you enjoyed this review, please leave a like and subscribe. Thank you all for watching and see you next time.